we're heading in. Into the inventory room. Of course, we've had just a little, bit of, a little bit of water come into it. This will all drain out as soon as it quits. Why is it so quiet in here? There, you don't have the ceiling. This is the floor of the offices, so it's more quiet. We're really quiet, John. I, now, I have to say, the other day, I come in here, and I left with an armful. You cannot send a woman in here, because I went shopping. I left with Swiffers. Uh, look. Now, I John, got you got some stuff you're trying to keep. This is like, you're yeah, going to organize these, this. These three bays here aren't quite organized yet. They're just leftovers from the old shop that I got to go through yeah. and got see what we're doing. Oh man, Which we got... keeps me from putting some of the new freight on the shelf. Yep. So, Amanda, let's start down here. Okay. And like we just moved all this in here. We've been moving, 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 and stuff out of the containers. We're trying to get empty all of our containers. Behind you are all these bins. We'll be slowly filling them up. Of course, you got you see how we got them all labeled. Mm -hmm. We got all our stuff. This is for the Incredible Boxes T20, two fifteen tens, for our screws, our saw blades, all this drill, drill bits, strippers, wires, brushes, all kinds Love of it. stuff in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. More tools this way. I guess mostly tools down here, isn't it? Well, it's adhesives. Like your sealants and your paint section and. Yep. Plumbing. There's some plumbing stuff. Yep. Let's go back this way now. Okay. So yeah, it, it looks better on the other side. Other than there's now a bunch of spray foam there now. <laughs> so we had to bring our spray foam in our 55 gallon drums because this got to be in an air conditioned environment. Mm -hmm. We took our other spray foam building down and using it for our routering of our panels and it got a little warm so we have to keep it in a cool okay. environment that's why we got these containers in here wow you are full oh wow it is full full down here and you still got those boxes you got to unload right wow hey. well unpack well that, well that really tall one there's a lot of the extra stuff if i don't have that much for the eye boxes uh, yeah i will run out in the time it takes to get to me so i have to stay at least two weeks ahead so you're so it's a challenge to keep up with as many we're building? For other companies to supply us, yeah. I don't think we have a challenge. It's just getting it from other places. Are we having a challenge having a place to put what we need? It's getting better every week because I get more of the old stuff out and we have more okay. room to put stuff. And, and reorganize. And then they get more organized on the floor where I could put it out there and have more for them. So it makes it a little bit easier. Gotcha. Gotcha. Wow, isn't this? This is awesome. Yeah. This it, is our store. Yep. And John does all of our shipping and receiving and inventory. So, you know, he's been dying like all the rest of us is waiting for our model homes to come in, come into tech. He's able to take now the model home, diagnose every single component that it takes to build that house, price it. We know it to the penny what it costs to build that house. Now we know the penny to the labor it costs because we charge by the foot, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes by the hourly, which is easy to handle, you know, calculate too. And now when the prices go up and down and stuff, we're spot on all the time because when they order it, it clicks out, shows us how if we're high, low, what the market's doing. Then we can sometimes, they, they'll tell us prices are getting ready to, to go up. Yeah. And they'll give us a little bit of forewarning too, you know. But here we're able to control it. Doors are locked. Nobody comes in here. Mm -hmm. They issue out what they need. And like going to uh, the Amish, we don't take from here. We actually order from there locally and we just distribute it and keep track of it. They do an inventory, send it back to us. It's been done. So okay. it's taken a long time to get to this point. It really yeah. has. Yep. But man, John is just, uh, he's, he's got a lot to do. Well, we met, uh, just a real quick backstory. We met John. Yeah through Inca at Lowe's. Yep, so you used to work at Lowe's, and we did our QSP with you. Yeah, my, my manager at the time sent me, he's like, you remember these guys that come in at night getting plumbing stuff? And I'm like, yeah. Well, they got this building, and they're building tiny homes, so you need to go and see how you could better help them. So they're not in here every night getting stuff because they're wasting their time. Aw, so, every night. So I, We I, were. I, I went out and I remember meeting Tom first, and you know it was the actually that big house you got over here in the forest, that thirteen oh, wide yeah. one. I walked in, he was doing wiring and that, and it kind of walked through, and and you started figuring out the materials we needed and oh, stuff. Yeah. Yep, made, made a whole list of everything. I mean, y'all supplied everything. I just needed to get the item numbers and yeah, and have it ready. And, and John get you a had good worked deal. for Lowe's for what nineteen years or twelve. Oh, 12 years. Okay, 12 years at Lowe's. Yeah. Yeah, in Morristown. 
Uh, six in Morristown and six in Greenville. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And then he came on and worked with us then. We stole we, him. We stole him. <laughs> worked a couple years for us then. And we were going through some hard times. Lord, we didn't know if we was going to make it in business. And he got into hauling. Yeah, well, you, you had to set this place up and get started and get moved to make it better for the company. And um, it, you didn't need someone to order 20 houses when you were doing four. We couldn't four. afford. <laughs> Couldn't mm -hmm. afford him, and it was it was got it got tight. I, I think it worked for both of us. I still came when you needed me, and yeah, y'all yeah. helped me have a business too. So yeah, you know, it, it all worked. We grew together. And that song, yeah. and now he's back with us full time because we need him. Yeah, and it's like it's like whatever we think. If you dream up something, he'll find it. Yeah, he'll find it. He'll find five different ways of doing it, and so we were able to look and see, hey, what's the best deal and what's the most available, and so. He's got his head rested Look, on there. He's just. You sleeping on my tent, Ace? Aww. He's just standing there. What you doing, buddy? You okay? Well, we're glad to have John for sure. Yeah. You know, have John back. You know. I laid down the Q and A somewhere. The oh gosh. The papers. Well, it, it could have floated uh, away by now. Let's uh, see. I had them. I didn't there? walk back there. Well, we had Q and A papers. Yes. Oh, I bet when I wash my face out here. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll get wanna... the question. We'll get the Q and A. We'll get the questions, and we'll come back in here. You want to do it in here? Sure. Okay. Be okay. right back. Okay. Take care. Man, I always got soaked. I mean, you got super soaked. I took off in the golf cart, went all the way around the building. You see, if the drains were open. Yeah. And they were open. It was just they were overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, what's going on? That's John. <laughs> <laughs> Barking at John, you know John. Hey, buddy. Maybe well, today's Q and A. Hey, Q and A. No. And we're in the inventory room. Yes. And we want to apologize for not doing Q and A yesterday. We got, we did a video. We did a thirty-minute video yesterday with, um, oh my gosh, I th I'm pretty sure her name was Allie. Uh, they came and picked up the house yesterday, and uh, the picked up their Incredible Box, eight by sixteen Incredible Box. Yep. We were going to do the Q&A later that day, and we just ran out of daylight, pretty much. So, uh, we are doing Q&A Wednesday, I think, number 14. Today? Yeah, yeah. so that was supposed to be yesterday, so it is, we're doing it, our Wednesday today. It's on Thursday, huh. so welcome. You didn't miss it, so. I had to take that other speaker. I know, Randy's uh, microphone got wet, because he is dripping wet from head to toe. We it, we call it a John Town flood. John Town flood. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, we got Q and A. Q and A. Thanks for everybody's comments. Q and A, and um, just to let you know, the world doesn't need to know, mm -hmm. but on our builds, the ESP homes have been yes. so long. You guys have been talking to me. I've been talking to you about letting you know what's going on. We have finally, I think, talked to everybody, but maybe three people. I've got two but or three, three calls people. tomorrow, mm -hmm. and we have been able to get build dates. We've been able to get. Um, everything ironed out to where they will all be built by probably looking at november december yeah. everything completely done mm -hmm. and, <clears throat> we took about an hour and a half yesterday yeah and randy hour and a half it's like all day yeah it took it took a while i was on the phone all day randy was on the phone because what the key thing was is that you know randy is offering to the esp the remaining esp customers not mm -hmm. incredible boxes and not 12 by 20 in credit boxes, yeah. but the ESPs, mm -hmm. 10 by 20s and 10 by 30s, the remaining ones, and Randy was offering to them, hey, we can do your ESP, we can honor your contract, do the same build and everything, but it's going to be a little bit later. Most of the people, what he offered, said, if you do not want to wait and we can get you a start date if you choose a model home. Right. And the majority chose a model home. Yeah, you know, a lot of people did the ESPs because they were more economical. They were yeah. a bigger home. Mm -hmm. They were going to be less expensive for us to build just because mm -hmm. of the no, no lumber and siding and yes. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But what we ran into is just the, the lack of craftsmanship to be able to expedite them The together. workers. Yeah, and it was just taking so long. It's just a, even though, you know, I've understood it. I like doing it myself. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the concept of it. It's hard to train carpenters to do something different. You know, it's a whole different uh, what do you call it medium yeah you know to use and uh, so anyway even though our model homes are more expensive to build and we've got to do all the 
you know, the LP siding and bar, it's a lot of amenities. Yes. And the people that'll be changing mm -hmm. them, it's not costing them a dime. So I'm going to actually be building them a more expensive home. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people had some beautiful floor plans they included in their they DSPs. Did. And, you know, we're going to try to add a little bit of tweaking to the, the new model that mm -hmm. we're offering them. But I think, I think all in all, everybody was really happy. They were very happy, with yes. With the upgrades mm -hmm. that were not going to cost them anything. We're talking from mm -hmm. probably ten to $30,000 upgrades that weren't costing them anything. No. No one went down in value. Everyone oh, went up. I don't ever go down in okay. value. Okay. Everyone ever. went up. Yeah. But, and two, we're excited, too, about the people who did stay as an ESP because we're going to get to do their homes and get to still Some see them. Some we got to so. say, yeah, they still wanted them, and mm -hmm. we're going to be able to Because they weren't them. in a rush for them. Yeah. So they said, hey, you know what? That's okay. I'm not ready to come there yet anyway. Let me tell you, I talked. Some great people. Some awesome folks. Mm -hmm. I mean, we talked, you yeah. know, from, from Hawaii to Texas, you know, North Carolina, mm -hmm. California. I got to talk to so many people and their lives and what they're doing and why they selected us, where they've yeah. been, how they've been watching us, which is really cool, mm -hmm. and, and how much they, you know, trusted and, and wanted to be a part of what we're doing here you know, you know and so. we don't you know if you don't hear from us and we are trying to get better with communication we get yeah. so slammed busy yep. and that's the only reason that if we're not talking to you because in our minds and in our lists <coughs> and what we talk about in the meetings we have your name on our tongue all the time Okay, and then sometimes it just kind of get lapsed into us telling the girls or something, hey, let them know this is going on. Let them know this. And sometimes when something doesn't change, you know, we just say, hey, they're just waiting on us. But sometimes you can, you know, when, when you don't know something, that's whenever you're like, what's going on? You know, what's, what's happening? So everyone appreciated Randy giving them a call and giving them a game plan. They have a start date and... Um, most people do so it's coming if you don't know your start date just email and amber will send that to you because we got yeah. everybody's start date so i'm on either if i'm in the middle of doing a drawing then john mm -hmm. will come in and need mm -hmm. a question alex uh mr rodriguez will come in yes and we've got somebody coming for an interview at the same time the phone's ringing the girls got, are asking you questions yes about five different thousand questions going on plus i'll see something outside i need to address i was already working on something out here to take care of whatever we were doing here. oh you had to move some stuff on the top you had to dump trash today with the tow oh, yeah, motor I was running trash and then i uh didn't get a chance to go on a mountain today to talk to the excavators right it's a constant there's never a time where i'm like hey well, well you know i've just, got you four know... people and i think i'm not going to call them right now because yeah. i think i'm going to go take a nap exactly i'm gonna go watch sesame street yeah <laughs> Do you ever watch Sesame Street? It's like I'm trying to get to that, and it's just constant pulling me yeah. away, away. And I don't think people could really physically understand no. or believe. Mm -hmm. How could you be so busy? Right. Yeah. You know, we're the router that we have on our phone. We've been yes. working with John and the motors, and we got inventory that was coming in. UPS came in here. I was on a tow motor, to trash. Then I had to phone. I had I had text three times. Mm -hmm. It was just like. Yeah, yeah, I don't it's think a lot. People would understand. Yeah, or you know, not understand. I mean, you can't foresee it. Mm -hmm. You think, wow, you're just building houses. How could it be so well, involved? Well, and two, in two, in this business right here, uh, being the owner, you know, you can't. You are. You're not going to just be here. You do this. You do that. You do that. Um, Brady doesn't do that. What do I do? He gets up and you can't find him. Where's he at? He's on the tow motor. Where's Randy at? He's talking to a customer. Where's Randy at? He's doing a video. Where's Randy at? He's, well, we did an early video today he's, too, didn't we? He's on the golf cart running to get something to go uh, bust up the plumbing so all the water will go out. So you can't find Randy, okay? You're not going to be able to find Randy. Mm -hmm. Think about all that. Yeah, exactly. All so. right, Lorraine Belgrade. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. Question. Said, hi, man and Randy, in a perfect world, everyone lives in peace and harmony. Oh, yeah. That's right here. <laughs> in the real world, there is conflict. My question is, do you have bylaws and regulations that each leasee must sign and agree to to live by? If not, how are disputes and disagreements managed? To they... have no, I have no husband. To ask Randy, so if things don't work out, I would be happy to step in and propose. Just an FYI. <laughs> well, if Lorraine doesn't have a husband, she doesn't have any conflict in her life. <laughs> Good for you, Lorraine. Love you both. 
If I win the house, I will be moving to one of your tiny <laughs> home communities all the way from Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Is that New York? Do you know what kind of women are in Saskatchewan? Is that New York? Where's that? That's in Canada. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. What kind of women? Mm. Yeah. Women that growl? Mm, brar. Yeah. Ah! Okay. There's some awesome women in Saskatchewan. Oh. That's one cold place. Okay. Yeah. Who knew? So, all right. I guess the men Question. knew. Question. Bylaws or guidelines for the leasees to sign. Yes. When there are disputes and disagreements. They fight to the death. They, <laughs> they do. You better know self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know what? We do not have. Mm -mm. We don't. We ought to have. We ought to have a court. We Tiny have our court. Own, we have our dun, own court. Dun, Night dun, court. Dun, 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 dun. We should have court. You know what? We have a dispute here, and we're going to bring it to the uh, to the jury. We'll have a jury. Oh, my God. Now, listen. You know who I love and Randy don't love? He won't. Judge Judy. I love Judge Judy. Oh, this is so listen, negative. Listen, don't pee on my legs, sir, and tell me it's raining. She's a <laughs> she, She's tough. She's a tough cookie. Well, we need a tough judge here. We do. <clears throat> Somebody who's not biased, so they can't live here. Oh, okay. We're going to get us a judge. Get Let's a get a room. judge. Oh, I know who could be a judge. Shout out to Trent. Trent out here. I won't say his last name. What oh, do you, yeah. What do you care? Trent would be a great He's one judge. one mild-mannered dude. And he has to wear his tracksuit. <laughs> he could be a judge in his tracksuit. I love <laughs> Trent. Hey, Trent. He shout a, out to you. He was a mortician. Listen, you know, okay, I have a question for Trent. Trent, you can answer this the next time I see you in the morning. I see him walking. He has his track suit on. He always looks sharp. Let me tell you, he's, he's a sharp-looking man. And uh, I'm going to ask him. He was a mortician, and that just fascinates me to death. So I'm going to ask him, do you like working with dead people better or live people? <laughs> mm. So you get us back to us. pass on that. You get back to us on that, Trent. Vicky Dodd. Hi, Vicky. And May Lee. Oh, Vicky, you're so icky. <laughs> Did anybody ever watch Odd, the Fairly Odd Parents with your kids? Really? It, Vicky was the babysitter, and they'd say, "Ooh, Vicky, you're so icky." <laughs> Amanda and Randy, I love watching y'all. Question for mm. Q and A next week. Okay. Could someone just have a contractor cut some of the bathroom door width for it to be a walker accessible? Oh, okay. That's a good question for the Incredible Box. That's a good question. Can, how would they cut it bigger for a walker to go in? Yeah, now that will cut into where your refrigerator or closet's going to be. Okay. That's the only reason we don't make it bigger. Okay. <clears throat> it's 29 inches. Okay. So if you do want to make it bigger, yeah, you can take off, take the screws out of the C, the C right C channel. It mm -hmm. goes alongside the panel. Okay. Take it off, cut it with the saw. Just okay. Just cut it with a skill saw. And the saw's off the floor, mm -hmm. cap it back. Now, the only thing is, is your flooring is made around the wall. It's not under the wall. Oh. So you'll have a little piece of your flooring showing, too. He'll but know how to fix it up. All the Hatch panels can be cut with a skill saw, wood cutting blade. Okay. You don't have to turn it backwards or anything. Just digging it like you're cutting a piece of plywood. Okay. Yep. Drive it like you <clears> stole it. Drive it. <laughs> Joseph <laughs> Vanden Roth. Oh. Van are, Van are you a count? Question. He sounds like count. Put count in front of his count name. Count Joseph. Count Joseph. What Van was the decision process <laughs> on going with the tank water heaters and your models in Incredibox instead of on-demand water heating systems. Was it a cost consideration or just something that was more uh, requested by buyers? Oh, okay. All right, good question. I personally love tankless mm -hmm. water heaters. I don't mind them at all. Um, the thing that reason that we did our electric, we find a lot of people don't want to fool with a tank. Yes. You know, I know in RVs, you're gonna want a tankless because you're gonna be traveling and mm -hmm. you can heat it up without any electricity i see uh m a minimum electricity but you have to have propane you gotta have propane okay. you gotta have a tank i wanted to do these as least amount of work and preparation mm -hmm. or maintenance as possible so that's just why we took the electric approach on it so yeah. if you're traveling with this and you're not plugged up because you wouldn't be plugged up until you stop somewhere how long does it take for the water heater to warm up when you plug it up Okay, so you can. Mine's hooked up just to a regular one ten. So you okay. can have a generator. It's mm -hmm. gonna it's gonna warm up just like it would be plugged up to the shore. Okay. You know, like a regular electricity in a house. Okay. Room, okay. Mm -hmm. So I think it takes thirty minutes or whatever. Oh, that ain't no up. big deal. No, it's it's okay. The only thing is it it has nineteen gallons, so you're gonna run out of water. You can't stay in there okay. forever. You know. 
Um, wonder how all. long you can shower with a 19 gallon. That should be a show. You should shower the whole time until you run out. I'm like, well, and do a show. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you. You know what my big beef is? Is why I what? really didn't want to put a tankless water why? heater in. Because all you ladies said, I hate a water heater above my my toilet. And I'm like, oh, I don't know where else to put it. Mm-hmm. It's in the bathroom above the toilet, and you guys went on and on and on about, especially you, went on and on. I, I think they're I ugly. hate the way that looks. Hey, Tim. It's good. Okay. So we went ahead and put electric on a shelf, and it's less maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't like the way it looks, but I, I, I'm scared of propane. I don't like things like that. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's what, what I'm talking about. Jim Do you Kirk need to come Hart. in here? You need Randy? Okay. Okay. Jim Kirkhart, suggestion. Have you considered filling the area under the shower units with spray foam? This will assure no cracks in the fiberglass and how better weight distribution. Thanks, guys, for all you do. Yeah, so what we, we uh, our showers come with really tall legs. They did. And we okay. cut three inches of them off. We'd set them in. And uh, they're, we used to, and I know he says, we take spray foam and fill mm-hmm. the bottom of okay. the shower. Mm-hmm. And we did that in residential and then when we got in these, I don't know if the floor's thicker or not, but I never feel the floor being spongy or anything. I don't either. I yeah. never do. So when we put it in and we screw it to the wall, the nail flange, we really haven't felt the need to do that. Now, we'll do it if it's a an inexpensive shower and the floor's mm-hmm. kind of soft. We'll spray it full. So I and, did not I know. Mean, so you're saying that whenever you got the shower... Okay, this makes sense to me now. Somebody said we cut, or John or somebody said we cut the showers down. Yeah. So you cut the bottom. I thought they cut the top off. I didn't know what he was talking about. I was like, The legs wow. used to come in tall. Now, John oh. found us a distributor who is boring our holes, cutting our legs. I heard We're that. Doing everything. Way we to don't go, have to John. Do it and Good he, job, John. Do tomorrow. tomorrow? Yeah, there you go. All right, question. Here, what well, you got to drink in there? Uh, whatever Seth ordered. Oh, he loves those things. Those is that those nitro Pepsis? Yeah, you need one. No, I can't drink one. But That's Seth, nitro oh, he lo- they're like vanilla Pepsi. They're so good. I got him one at the dollar store. Yeah, he's got those in there. Well, it's, it's Tim's dinner. Oh my God, Seth loves I, those. I, I already got is that what Tim wants? Yeah, I already got free letters. Is there any water? <laughs> There's no water in there, is there? That's okay. No, but I'll bring you some water. So, what you? Oh, Thank Tim, it's the Birmingham I don't have with me. I'm thinking, let, let me think in my head. I think it's going to be 24, what is it, uh, 10? Uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, 10. I believe the bedroom's 12, 8, 20. It's 14 feet. Okay. I think the living room is 14 feet long. Wow, because um, it's a 10 by 34. Yeah, and also, I was going to mm-hmm. tell you guys, all the models that are 10 foot wide, they're actually 10 foot 3. Good to know. Yeah, so we're actually making them 3 inches wider to make some of the floor plans work, especially <clears throat> in the Birmingham's going between the bathroom <clears throat> and the living room. Mm-hmm. We need that hallway to go into the bedroom. And we need three more inches, so we're using our 10-foot floor joists mm-hmm. instead of cutting three inches off and make a 10-foot with oh, good. both sills. Now, is every house, so are eight-foot wide houses wider than eight-foot, and are 10-foot houses wider than 10-foot? Well, they're always 10-foot <clears throat> six, eight-foot six. Now, oh. the new models I see. will be 10-foot nine outside, but because it's 10-foot, we're actually putting, because of our architecture, I want it to look more like a home. Okay. I'm adding a soffit and an eave that'll come out almost over six inches on the side. It's going to be nice. So the house is going to be really close to about 11 foot eight from outside to outside. That's like overhang to overhang. It doesn't need to be within eight foot six. So, okay, we're already wide low. Why don't we push it? We're, I'm pushing 12 feet because mm-hmm. after 12 foot, then you got to have an escort and it's hard to travel with. Mm-hmm. But these right here, I'm pushing right close to about, I don't know, 11, 8 to 11, 10 is what, how wide they'll be. That's awesome. Because whenever you, I, with you just saying that, yeah. my house where it was born in, not, uh, born, my house was born in 1977. It was built in 1976. Okay. Yeah. If you was to add, uh, uh, those longer, those overhangs, yeah. it would look like the houses you're building. Yeah. Oh exactly. my goodness, it would make such a difference. And you put all the detail and the faux yes. rafters and, and all the, you know, the corbels. corbels and, oh my gosh. It's, I just it's learned this year like what a, a corbel was. A 19 Look at John. You know, Pamela Rose. I've that, asked this before, but I don't know if you've addressed it. How hard is it to change a flat tire on a trailer after you've set it up? That's a great one. John, thank you so much. Look at John. He got us some water. Oh, that's nice. 
from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How hard is it to change a flat tire on a trailer <clears throat> after you've set it up permanently? Normally, if you set it up permanently, your tires are off, off the, the, the ground, mm -hmm. so it's not that hard to do at all. Well, uh, okay, with with saying that, yeah. how hard is it to change one if you're, like, traveling? Just like you do a car. Just like a car. Yeah, you okay. have, but you can't use a car. You, if you got a scissor jack that'll go up, you can't just use a bumper jack, so. Um, okay. Yeah, and then, <clears throat> but she also is, do they get, the do the tires get rot if you don't cover them up? Mm -hmm. Or have a skirting around the home. They sure will. You've talked if about you that. If you don't have skirting, put motor oil or Vaseline all over your tire. Put a black garbage bag over it. Keep the UV mm -hmm. rays over it in moisture and it'll it'll be fine. Okay. Um, just curious. It would be nice to have a handyman that works just for all the people that live there. He or she would be busy all the time. Another question. And we do. We have several guys, people, that do all kinds of stuff. And uh, so, they're, no, they're not employees of Incredible Tiny Homes. Right. There's... But there are. There's. You know, I've mm -hmm. seen more and more guys here, mm -hmm. and I've talked to a few of them. Yeah. So they're they are getting exactly busy. here in hot Kansas. We have tornadoes. Do you have mm -hmm. a shelter in each of the properties for severe weather? Thank you for all you do. Amazing work. Give back. Great question. We were just talking about this. You go. Randy was. All right. So I've got an idea, and I think I'm going to put some storm shelters in just for, just for you guys. Just say hey, you got somewhere to go. So our new development out here on the side of the the black building. We're going to put um, maybe one or two storm shelters in. They're going to be mm -hmm. containers under the ground. Yeah. And then we're going to, I'm probably going to put one in the prairie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll probably put one over here in the uh, forest the too. The forest. Yep. That is not a bad idea. And I have to be honest, at first I didn't think it was necessary at all. Because well, you've never seen a tornado I've in the, never seen it. I'm in the almost, 82 years you've lived here. Okay. He'll pay for that. And that's okay. Right. That's okay. I got his credit card number. Um but I've never seen a tornado. I've lived in Morristown uh, my whole life for 51 years. going to be 52 years this September. Well, September 9-11. Uh, but anyway, um, I've never seen a tornado. And But I can see the concerns. Just like the like what we showed you before the show here. The, how it was just a downpour. It just, boom. It just came like that. So uh, we've never had one. But not to say that there wouldn't be. So I think, Randy, you're right to be safe than sorry. And I think it would put everybody's uh, mind at ease. Yep. So, good thinking there, Randall. Oh, yeah. Always Randolph. Uh, T.G. Gavin, Gavigan? Uh, question. What will the price be for the 12 by 20 Incredibox Grab and Go? Which, we're not doing those. 12 by 20? We will. We told them we didn't want them because they're, they're 12 foot wide. And they're, yeah, they got to, you know, they have to have an escort and it's a challenge to haul. But, but mobile homes haul all the time. But the but we're not doing those as grab and goes right now. We're only not doing yet. eight by sixteen grab and goes, and we will let you know when they're ready. Yeah. As what what did uh, Lucas say this morning? We're calling them grab and goes that are hot and ready. Hot and ready. He said like uh, Little Caesars Pizza. He said <laughs> they're gonna be hot and ready. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna announce it. What we'll do? We'll announce it on that morning, like on a Monday morning, and say on a Monday. That's what I said. Oh, you got a race to do. It's like get your money in and come get your house. For the 12 by 20s or yeah. the 16 by We're only going to hold houses for people that wire their money uh, in. That we have the money that's hit our account, then you can go ahead. But if you're bringing a check, you better bring a certified check. If you're bringing cash, mm -hmm. bring cash, and you're just going to have to, you know. You know what? I was on the internet. I mean, I, was, I got an email because I've been looking for, I like old trucks. I was always looking, and I looked in this truck. And it was a 1960 Power Wagon. Yes, you sent me a picture. It's beautiful. I love beautiful. Dodge Power Wagon. The old one's from 46, you... right after the war. So it was a WC. Anyway, they made me a cool looking truck. And they're tough as heck. And so this guy had one. Mm -hmm. And it was beautiful, yellow, and it was just like gorgeous. All decked out. 20 grand. That truck's a $100,000 truck. It's gorgeous. He said, 20 grand. My dad passed away. You know, I want to sell it. He said, I'll mm -hmm. even pay for delivery. They're in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, I'm interested. What can I do? He sent me back. You know what he said? What? He said, um, describe the truck. What's going on yeah. with it? He said, I've got a broker that's handling the mm -hmm. truck. What we'll do is we'll send you the appropriate information. You send your money mm -hmm. to us, right? Right. Um, we will hold your money in escrow or some other means. In the uh, broker's account. Yeah. And then we'll ship the truck. 
pay for shipping. You got seven days mm -hmm. to, to decide. see if you want your truck before we take your money out of the account. Yeah. And I'm like, something's wrong. Yeah. I t well, I how do you verify all that? I you told know? Brady, I was like, mm, Let's, we got to make sure this don't sound right to me. I mean, it was an amazing truck, you know, as you can yeah. eat so off. Why, so why was it, you know, yeah. Yeah, well, I never got a response on the email. Yeah, so it's so, like, mm, and I'm thinking, buyer oh, beware. Yeah, but. Gorgeous truck. So, talking about money, and that's why we come on here so much. That's yeah. why we prove who we are, where we live, what's and going on. And we're real people. Yeah. You see us, you saw There's the. There's so many scams. There is so many scams. Josh He's, scammed, he, tried, he bought two kayaks. And it said it was from Dick's Sporting Goods? Yeah. Wasn't. No, it was a scam. It uh, said Dick's Sporting Goods and everything? No. And the only thing that saved him is he used PayPal. They, they oh, they did PayPal, and the and the people that scammed him mm -hmm. had to use the PayPal account and, and bought a $2 item mm. to show a tracking number. I see. And then PayPal got involved in it and got their money back. It does something. So that, you know, hats off to PayPal. Wow. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was Man, cool. Man, yep. that's terrible. So, um, right. have you seen, this is uh, Car Carrie Lou. Have you seen a bear on the mountain or Buffalo Creek? Great question. Okay. I've got, we both have some information I probably. Have not, I have not seen a bear. Our neighbors have. Okay. And our neighbors have got mm -hmm. uh, trail cameras all over trail the mountain. Cams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trail cams that join our property and that and they have they've got bears on the property and on their porch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you have to you have to be careful. But not a lot as not as many as the Smokies. Mm -hmm. You had one in your house. Or I had by your one house. last year near my house. I've never seen a bear near my house. And you're like probably <clears throat> what, sixteen miles from here? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Over in Morristown. About twenty, twenty five minutes. Well um, I just saw this posted, you know, whenever I rarely get on my personal Facebook anymore. I just don't have time for it. So to get on Facebook, I go on, it pops up mine up first, and then I get onto the company Facebook. Well, I saw the residence page over wow. here, and um, Cleo had posted about her trash can had been drug into the, the woods. Okay, uh, her trash had been turned over. Her her trash can the next night had been uh, dr drug into the woods. They were all thinking that maybe there was a bear out there in the forest. Okay, and she I saw the comments and she said that it ended up being they look they have tr they have cameras. A lot of the residents have cameras around their home and stuff yeah. like that. And they looked went back to the footage and she said that it was a big fox. No. Yeah, that's what she said. So they have come up with a little contraption. Uh, to lock their lids. So she just put a suggestion on there for That's people. Cool. Hey, lock your lids down tight. Make sure <clears> they're tight. But a red fox. I think it was red. I think it was red, but she said a fox. That's cool. Yeah, so no one's reported a bear, but uh, but they are around. Yep. You know, uh, when Donna was here, she saw a bear. Oh, uh, here? No, oh, but crossing the road. Across the road. Yeah, mm -hmm. over by She's, the factory. Yeah, she sure did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Christine Chandler. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful river area. We learned so much from you, Randy and Amanda. So appreciate all the questions too. My Wednesday question, which is Thursday now, uh, yeah. will you have a helicopter pad on any of this, your sites? It would make it easier to hop to your place from the airport. Oh my. Please get. Who's got a helicopter? Uh, well, some people do. I. Uh, I'm for that. 100%. Randy's about to buy a helicopter uh, from that guy that has a yellow truck. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, please give Ace a doggy biscuit and give Amanda a hug from all of us for all the hard work she does too. You better not hug me. I'm soaking wet. I can't hug you. Ugh. No, I'm thank for the you. Air conditioner. I'm freezing. Oh God, it feels good. Yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> to you. I'm soaking wet. Randy's freezing to death. Helicopter pad. Well, we've got a lot of concrete that mm -hmm. they could land on for sure. Yeah. God, what, what are what are the? Because we did, we actually had a customer. Well, he was a potential customer that came here in his helicopter and was able Correct. was able to land. But you have to have certain restrictions. I mean, to be able to land or certain criteria. Is that right? I never to, heard you use the word criteria. I've never spelled it, <laughs> but I, I know how to say it. John, mm -hmm. you got a. Uh, Oh, there it is. I was going to turn your heat in there. I'm blowing the air off. Look how he's 10 foot he's tall. He's tall. Everything he's got is there, like. You want that a little lower where it hits you? No, I want it away from me. So I'm, he's I'm freezing. freezing to death. Now I'm hot. Yeah, there 
you go. Oh, man. Oh, man. The uh, good times are really over for good. <laughs> All right, next question. Oh, Come on, we got to go. I'm hot. Stop. Okay. Uh, did you want to answer that? Helicopter pad? Yeah, we got yeah. one. Okay, we got, we got one. I guess land on the building, uh, Christine. That's a good idea. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Put one on there. Uh, Mike Bayless, can you build a 10 by 20 Incredibox in response to that ADA idea that would give you the room to get the spaces width needed for an ADA compliance with the same design as the 8 by 16 A 10 by 20 Okay, so the compliant is doorways. Mm-hmm. We got a, you can put a 36-inch door on an 8x16. Okay. You can put a 36-inch door into a bathroom if you want. You just lose your closet. Okay. All right? Well, So it's yeah. all ADA if you mm -hmm. want the openings to be that way, and you can load it up full of grab bars. But uh, he's talking about on the assembly line. We're not doing ADA on, assem on the assembly line. No, I'm saying that, we, that the assembly line is made for mass amounts. Right. But... Mm -hmm. I'm saying you got a 36 inch door. The mm -hmm. only thing you need is a customer would make a bigger doorway. Just like earlier, we answered a question into the bathroom. Yeah. For a walker. Mm -hmm. Now you can put your grab bars everywhere and your shower, stuff like that. Now, the only thing I don't know about a shower is that it's a, it's a small step up, about three or four inches to get into the shower. Mm -hmm. Normally, you got to just walk into it without a bump. You know? Okay. <clears throat> that would be the only challenge, is that. But these, I think these are great to be retrofitted. Now, I never thought that an eight foot wide home could be ADA. Okay. If my mom, if she came again and we had to take care of her, mm -hmm. an 8 by 16 would have been fine. Yeah, that is true. Because she had a single bed. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in, where mine is, you walk in the side into the left. Yeah. You got a single bed. It's enough. There's almost 8 feet from the wall to the she kitchen. She had plenty of room. Well, she had a 10 by 20. Yeah, she had but plenty of room. there would be plenty of room in an 8 by 16 is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You got a queen, you got a, a single bed. She could mm -hmm. have a chair. You got your kitchen and bathroom. She would have been fine in that. And yeah. mom had a walker. The only thing is, of course, like I said, getting into the bathroom. It would probably have been actually better for her in an incredible box. I know everybody's thinking I'm just trying to sell that out of there. But, man, does she had less place, you know, less we didn't even use, she walk. didn't even use uh, the uh, the door no, right there. None of that. None of that was used. No. You know. From the bed, mm -hmm. really, to the kitchen, to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And the Incredibox would have been way better as an ADA. Yeah. It's only the opening into the, bath, the bathroom. Well, you do, I mean, like, so. It... Right now, we're trying to kill it. I know. We're just trying to build these. Mm -hmm. if, yeah. I, I'm hoping in the, in the future that we can say, hey, somebody says, hey, I want to. An ADA a compliant doorway into the mm -hmm. bathroom. Right. Then we can just do that. We can make an, an adjustment right. online. Okay. So when one pops up, hey guys, we got to do this, mm -hmm. and it's number, it's taken care of. We just got to get more organized as we go. I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but that's a good question. Uh, Mariah says, how much does it cost to piggyback tiny homes on a flatbed on flatbed train cars? Yeah. So when we first got here, we have a spur. A, that comes off the train yeah. here, and mm -hmm. we've been looking. You know, we ask about that. Mm -hmm. Many they were actually not any cheaper than trucking them with a truck. Really? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. They were at that time. We were now fuels up. It may be easier. Yeah, or cheaper. Mm -hmm. But but that time it was the same. Now when she says piggyback, yeah, what does she I, mean? Well, in my mind, I was thinking we've already looked into a, um, hauling two. Incredible boxes mm -hmm. behind a truck. I see, I see. So you got two incredible boxes behind one truck. Kind of like what my son does. He works for Old Dominion and he hauls two. Uh, oh, he does that? Tandem? Yeah. Tandem. Oh, they, they do tandem. That's all they do is tandem. Okay. Yeah, they do two uh, trailers. Wow. Yeah. What are, I guess it's called tandem. Yeah, that's, it, it can get hairy. Oh, too. sure. Absolutely. Um, okay, so Magnolia Emporium. Can a washer and dryer be used in an exterior matching storage shed to save space inside a tiny home? Yes. Absolutely. Great idea. Think, we talked think, about that. Yeah, I think a lot mm -hmm. of people should do that. Uh, Lisa Failer, can you build in Indiana or deliver to Indiana? What's your biggest tiny house? Yes, and right now it's a 10 by 34 Birmingham, the biggest tiny house we mm -hmm. have. It is exquisite. 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 But we do not build off-site. 
No. No, we only build on site. Yeah. Um, and we will deliver, yeah. Yeah, we will deliver. Uh, well, we will get you with someone who delivers. We, we don't. We will deliver. We don't deliver. We're not a delivery company. It's, it's, what do you call it? How is that saying? How you say? Ishmi, Ishmi, she, she, she. <laughs> what? It's just like, ah. Go. Who knows? Um, okay. Uh, Sandy Bogan. Is it possible to fit a washer and dryer in the Incredibox? I can't live without them. And I understand what she's saying. Everybody, there's several people that ask that. Yeah, I think you can. Now, where there's two spots. Okay, where would you put it? All right. So, the one spot, I would put it directly into the bathroom between the toilet and the shower, but you have to build the tongue box out on your tongue. Mm -hmm. There's a drain and there's a hot water under the floor ready for a sink. You can use that as your washer and dryer drain okay. and water supply. The other place you could put it is underneath the countertop to the left of the sink where we extended the countertop probably about almost 30 inches and you could put a wash and dryer underneath there. Okay. You have to run your water lines behind in through the cabinet mm -hmm. underneath the sink and just tee them off a drain and everything there. Okay. Yeah. So it is possible. Yeah. Anything um, possible. Choose kindness. Um, will ITH ever offer a community in Florida for the Incredibox Hump? Yes. We're working on it. Yeah. Actually... Working with uh, working with, with someone. Rick. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rick is looking into doing that. We're actually looking into getting the Incredibox accredited as a modular home that can be moved in a residential area that yes. allows modular homes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and it's be statewide in, in Florida. Oh yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Margie, Pollen. Okay. I think it is. Randy talked about having retail shops for residents to rent. Mm -hmm. Are you planning? Uh, on using the 12 by 20 ESPs for lease, uh, there are no windows in the side that could be set up on in a row. Um, they would be easy to heat and cool. Plus, they mm -hmm. would be have um, have restrooms for customers. The kitchen area would be available for serving drinks. I like how she's thought about all that. Isn't that cool? Pretty nice. That's a great idea. And we've got several customers that has been thinking about that too. Because what we wanted to do mm -hmm. is to make it a special thing for the residents to be able to open up shops. Yeah. We wanted to have them to get first dibs on ha getting to do their businesses here. So that's a perk for being a resident yep. uh, here and on the mountain. Yep. So. So for sure. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that I wanted it to do in a, in a in a real you know if i had everything i could do i would like to make it look like a european village with real steep and dormers yes. and kind of slate looking roof god and, that'd be pretty you know kind yes. of rocky and bricky and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff and you walk through and it's like cobblestony kind of like I don't that know. i mean if, i'd love for it to be that way yeah so we'll, well see you but never know what will she, transpire this is super practical this is yeah that would i know be, what she that means would work yeah perfect. Mm -hmm. uh angel I, I'm trying to read this. Genvelis. Genvelis? Yeah, I guess Gen so. Good job. Angel Genvelis. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard you say that the wood flooring is treated, is treated, and it does not warp, bolt, mold, deteriorate, etc. I think that's what you said. But does that mean it needs to be treated on the underneath once a year with a? Oh, I'm talking. Oh, talk plywood. About oh, plywood. Cedar, whatever. Does it need okay. to be treated with wood treatment underneath? Or other sites, on other sites, I've seen comments that it definitely would have have to if it's exposed. And obviously, even if you skirt the trailer, it would be exposed underneath. Maybe you can explain it. Why did you choose wood over metal? I mean, obviously for cost, but was there another reason? John, I'll let John... Um, Availability. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Is there... But the pri the pressure treated plywood that we put underneath the house for you know the skirting it's not it, it, it's, it's underpinning it's at least sixty percent what the metal would cost it's just the available <laughs> well they know that but the longevity you don't have to treat that every year you don't have to paint it black every year what's the longevity of that pressure treated plywood as long as they do some sort of Venting, if they underpin it, it yeah. will last uh, pretty much forever. I mean, that's what's on the bottom of RVs and a lot of your houses. So oh, I mean, good. Yeah. Okay. One thing that I did at mom and dad's house, and the house is still there, and it's mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. I actually framed in the outside with pressure treated, mm -hmm. and then I put pressure treated plywood along the first skirting, right? Okay. And I nailed it and everything. Then I put stucco over it, oh. and we made it look like rock and stone, mm -hmm. and it's still there. You know, and 
when I was in college, to let you know, we built a foundation out of pressure treated plywood instead okay. of concrete block. Really? And instead of concrete um, poured walls. As like a experiment? It was a, and we backfilled that sucker with dirt and it was pl pressure treated plywood, pressure treated wood and everything. Frankly. Really? So, but listen, yeah, it was a, more readily available. The trader guys were couldn't get a hold of it, and it went through the roof. It was expensive. Wow, really? I mean, it was like we're talking. It increased probably the whole build eight hundred to a thousand dollars per house. Golly! So, um, and and you know what? These guys here, we've got the system down where they can nail it, staple it, flip it mm -hmm. over, and it's pressure treated, yep. so it's not made to rot. It's bug resistant, you know. Well, so, you know, I look which my. My house, it's not expo It's you can see it in the basement because I have an unfinished basement. It's the same plywood from 1976. Mm -hmm. and you look up in your ceiling. In yeah. my ceiling, but it's not exposed. And you've had water. Oh, in your I've had for water. Thirty years. Uh, yeah, I did for so a I long. Showed up. Yeah, for a long time <laughs> until he fixed it. Deb yeah. Nelson, question: Can a can a window air conditioner be put in any of the living room windows? Yes. Great question. Yes, it can. But. Uh, didn't you say just cut a hole? Don't use it. Don't use your window. Cut a hole. Yeah, and stick it in but there. I'm just saying she can put it in the window. I'm answering her question, man. Can a water spigot or faucet for the outside of the incredible box be easily installed? Can what? Answer that one. Can what? Answer that one. Well, <laughs> can a water spigot be um, for a faucet? Okay, for the outside of a product to be easily installed. So if you have a water faucet, you know the best place to do that? No. Is where you have, I'm just trying to think. You've got water under your kitchen sink. So are you, you could, talking about for a water hose or what are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, water hose, okay. water faucet outside. So yeah. you could drill a hole under your sink, right? Okay. And stick a water faucet from outside. So you go to Lowe's and get you a, a frost-free water spigot. Okay. Drill a hole and stick it in there. Screw it to the outside. Okay. And screw it in the wall. Mm -hmm. You might want to put a piece of wood or something outside and screw it to it. On the inside, you'll cut your cold water line, put a T in it with PEX, and you can do it with all the shark bite. You don't need to get the clamps and all that. Mm -hmm. Shark bite, boom, and then put it on the back of that water, that frost freeze mm -hmm. faucet and have you an outdoor spigot. So you're saying that the spigot, uh, the, the water the hose, is it's coming out where the kitchen faucet under the sink is. And the reason is because you can see the water lines. You uh, see all the water lines, you can just cut it, tee it, so it's all right on. there. Yeah. And okay. you know what? All that can be done. Well, how would you do it any other way? Where's the water? With the shark bite. Oh, I'm trying to think. The other way, we have water lines. It's the bathroom? You could buy the toilet. Mm -hmm. You could come up and tee it off the toilet. Yeah. The other one is coming running up the door inside the house, mm -hmm. the front door, and it's hard to get to in that part. Mm -hmm. so that's two toilet places. water! Ah! <laughs> Judy Rico. What? <laughs> What'd you just say? <laughs> What'd you say? Okay. Judy Arico. Arico. Can you do a tour of an incredible box? Stop it. With You're... the solar package. <gasps> stop. Now, who said that? Judy. Judy Arico. Judy, stop it. Now, we're... Don't bring that up today. That ain't <laughs> Thursday talk. <laughs> that ain't Thursday talk. We'll answer that tomorrow. Watch the... Watch tomorrow, Judy. Yeah. You psychic. <laughs> You, you sicko! Ju you sicko <laughs> suck it! You are predicting the future, Judy! Seals. <laughs> we'll answer you tomorrow. Susan Beals. Hi, Susan. I will be buying the Birmingham after I sell my current home. However, I want a Birmingham. With my arthritis, I simply cannot navigate it. stairs and higher risers or shallower treads and regular. Okay. Will you please <laughs> what are do pull-out steps for the bottom three steps in the Birmingham? Mm -hmm. If you do this, the entire staircase, including the pullout, will be an easily, same easy way look, walking up and down as our, your standard staircase. Okay, well, sweetheart, listen, Susan. Don't call her sweetheart. Why not? Yeah, she ain't your she sweetheart. She got arthritis. All the steps are the same. The last, all of them, as they come down, I make all of our steps seven and a half risers just like a regular house explain what the the riser is this it's how much you step it's up. how much you step like up. she talked okay. about having 12 inch risers or something yeah they're a high riser it's hard to do mm -hmm. says will you please do a pullout we don't need to do a pullout because they're all the same anyway 
they're no different. Okay, yeah, so you're they're always like going to have the same step. Yeah, they're okay. good. And they're not high. They're not okay. hard to navigate or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mary Beth, maybe. Question. Mary Beth, Have you maybe. decided on a name for the 12 by 20 community? Oh, my gosh. Went. I was going to take your paper. Isn't that the last one? Well, wait a minute. She got something else. Oh. Truly, oh, truly enjoy the videos when you allow CC. Closed caption. Oh, yes. Is that what it is? Oh, do we need to do something when on that? When you allow closed caption so I can read what you said. Oh, if we the have mic to is do not that. Working well, thank you. You know, somebody had said that something about That's a great idea. Um, I, you don't have to select it. Well, I will look on there. I'll Are make we still on? I'll yeah, we're sure. blue. Okay. It's still on. You know what? Yeah, that's awesome. I didn't know. The, I thought we selected it. I watch our, closed caption all the time, especially when I re listen to British movies or yes. talk shows. But um, every time I've ever watched TV, and you too, the person that's watching has to select it. So if you're saying we need to do something, I will go on there and I'll do that. I didn't know you couldn't access it. I'm sorry. Yeah, because after seven you years, you're not been it, able. Right? I can't watch anything without having the words <laughs> on it. <laughs> Did you ever see Apocalypto? What's this? Isn't that right? Oh, oh talk about a good movie. That's yeah. There ain't no words to no speaking, and but nobody said none. I'm telling you, that's Apocalypto. A, you need to watch it. Mel Gibson. Watch it, Mel Gibson. Yeah. All right. What's this? L C C A O L. L C C. Owl. Yeah. Owl. Owl. Cow. Owl. I think it's just Please letters. interview the students so they can see, so we can see how they're doing and how they're perceptive. Good. good idea. That's a great idea. We'll do that. Let's, we'll Let's do, do that. We'll the do that next are awesome. week. Yeah. yeah. It's like they're quiet. They don't say anything. They they're so quiet. Anything. They never talk. Yeah. All right. MJ, do you think you will still make available the bed frame box with built in storage drawers for the Incredibox? And how much will the full size bed be? Ah. Uh. How much for a so full size bed? Maybe. We are look at this piece of hair. It kills we me. are looking into that right now. Rob and I are doing some prototypes. Yeah. So we'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. For sure. That's we're doing it. Okay. Uh, Kel Kelbel. Kel Kelbel. 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 Kel Kelbel. Why do you keep saying not to do a mini split with the inside part in the upper right wall area above the kitchen? Mm -hmm. Upper right part above the kitchen. Maybe, um... Upper right. Okay, so if you're think, I think upper right part of the kitchen where we got to... Uh, now, I say put the re the air conditioner up there. And you can put... You can put the mini split anywhere. We're just... For me, I was going to put it in the back, up above the bedroom and the back, back wall and run my line set on the outside mm -hmm. and put my condenser outside. So, uh... If you do that... You know, your line set, your your refrigerant is going to run on the inside of the house, and, you know, it's hard to... Now, you know. are you... To, okay, so now, let, help me here. So, the Incredibox, I'm walking into it. Here's the kitchen, and there's the window. What are they talking about? They're talking about up here at the loft where the... Where Why you do you keep saying not to do a mini split with the inside part, which is that right there, right? Okay, the handle. Inside part in the upper right wall area... Above the kitchen. Oh, in the loft? They're talking about in the loft. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, that's where you're talking. I couldn't I couldn't well, manage if it's in, in the loft. loft. Then you can't put anything in front of it. I you see. Can't you can't put anything, anything in front of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. How will air come out right there? It's narrow. It's well, more it narrow. It would work if you didn't put anything in front of it. Okay. It would fine. blow out. Because uh, you ain't gonna have a fan, a ceiling fan. No. Can you put a ceiling fan in a um incredible box? Probably above the bed, because mm -hmm. it's nine foot tall for sure. Okay. Mm hmm. There you go. I, was yep. a, I answered a question. Or... But you can put a mini split anywhere. You just got to contend with the line set, which is the coolant lines that you okay. can conceal. All right. Yeah. Um, Wednesday by the sea. Debbie Littleton, if I buy a house and rent a lot at ITH and sadly meet my maker while living there, to get this, yeah. can my air sell in place? This is a good question. We yeah. we have uh, two or three people that has asked that. We talked about it last night. We did talk about it. Like, mm -hmm. what happens if somebody passes away? Because it, it happens. So, um, let's say you rent a lot, and that lot is in, your, in at least in your name. Yes. Uh, I think in your will, you mm -hmm. put that lot that's leased in your name mm -hmm. goes to your heirs. Yeah, your you know? executor. Let's say you're still responsible for that, mm -hmm. and and we were thinking about a putting a provision in yes. the lease mm -hmm. to say, hey, the heirs would receive your lease 
Um, you would inherit that exactly. lease. Yeah, because yeah. the house the house is going to be there. Now, we'll all always we'll work out the details and stuff, too, with, okay, we want to take the house with us, so we will work that out as well. Take the house with us. What yeah, like what if the, if somebody passes away and the well, person... their house, yeah. I know, but if they want to take it, they don't want to lease it. They don't want that lease right. anymore. Yeah, so right. we'll, we'll get it all worked out. <laughs> Fab. Fab Smith. Uh, I have a question for the Charleston Temple 30 with dormers. Okay. Can you confirm the shower size since it doesn't have it um, with, with, without dormers? Okay. Without dormers, uh, it'll be 36, but the videos say 32. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Fab, I don't have the, you know, I don't have the blueprint in front of me. When, when you have the stairs, when you have the stairs, the bathroom, and the kitchen, you can't put a 36 because it, it, it shoves it into the, the stairs and it makes a hallway between the kitchen and the bathroom just too narrow. Did some of the, did the first Incredible Boxes have 36 inches and we switched to 32? Some had 36. I now we got 36s now. Some now had, we We didn't have. have them available. When okay. they came, there were 32, mm -hmm. 36s. Now they're all Okay. Available. He's talking about the Timber 30 Charleston. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. What is the interior ceiling height for the 12 by 20? So hmm. it goes from eight to nine also. Okay. In the back eight, in the front is nine. Yep. Kathy Oaks, question. Is there a plug in the bathroom in case you want a compost toilet? And is there one under the hot water heater for a fridge and a credit box? Yes. Will you do a sketch of the credit box with all the dimensions and layout and put it on the website? Kathy, yes. That's you know a good what? idea. We did a video of it and we described it, but I do need to, I need to write that down. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure I write that because I need to put a, a, a complete blueprint of that sucker on there. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Dimensions what? I just get so busy. Dimension of the Incredible Box. I need a floor plan. Complete, you know, design of it. Uh, Yvonne B. It's Hi, weird. Randy. I thought we had one, but I guess we don't. Yeah, I we don't, did. do we? Okay. No. Hi, Isn't that crazy? We just, I assumed that. I thought that was on there. Um, Yvonne B., how did you guys get started in business together? I've heard you say that you have known each other for 20 years, but how did you get together to build ITH? Who? Who? Me and you? Who built ITH? What do you mean, who? What, what was the question? What have you been doing? Well, I was fixing my hair. This piece of hair oh always God. falls. Look. All right, Amanda, listen. Okay. How did you guys get started in business together? I've heard you say that you have been, you've known each other for 20 years, but how did you get together to build ITH? Is that for another question? Go ahead. Is that another day? <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Should we go to the next question? Pass. Pass. Uh, you'll have to come here and ask that question. <laughs> That's a pass. Raven Backrack. What does ESP stand for? Engineered steel panels. Okay. Yeah. I love them too. There you go. Wait, this is a letter. Oh my, that might be some of the emails. That might be it. Is that a letter? Uh, let's see. God, that's a that's a big one. Um. Okay. Oh, this is stuff they. Oh, this is the girls. That's okay. Is that John's truck? That little I think it is. Wait a minute. There it is. There it is. Let's, is that the one we're going to possibly get? Michael Weldon. Something you might consider as you often drive the little tiny buggy. Why not drive an electric pickup from place to place? These tiny trucks do complement no, the No, somebody said box. that. Yep. John's Why should the Incredible Box owner need a huge truck or SUV? Just And this is this little bitty truck. John is looking into one. His brother-in-law can get them, right? Well, his, his father-in-law who passed yes. has one. Oh! And he wanted it to bring it to us, and oh. they've got it over at the house. Yeah. Well, we need it. A little electric truck. We we can always use little buggies. Yeah. Thanks, Michael. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. So. That is go. awesome. All right. That was it. This we this was our fourteenth uh, Q and A. Fourteen. Episode fourteen. Time's going so fast. And I'm telling you what, everybody's loving the Q&A Wednesdays. We try to get as many questions um, questions answered as we can. So many comments. I can't even, cannot express how thankful we are for all the comments and people commenting with each other and answering each other's questions. 
So yeah. that's been really nice. And we learned this week that we also have residents who already have their homes, have had their homes for a long time, and they are still watching our show. And we yeah. want to thank them for doing that because that is such a compliment. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Was that, does, that, does that say that there's not good showing on Netflix playing or something? Oh, I never thought of it that way. I don't know. Well, I love what, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember his name yesterday. Or was that this morning? Who? When did we meet him? Who? The North Carolina guy. Was that yesterday? That was, was, that that was this yesterday? morning. Oh my God. Dad. Griggs. Or what was it? Riggy. Riggy. What was his first name? No. No. Mike. Chuck. Chuck. No. Fred. Nick. Rick. Oh, Donna was his wife. Hi, Donna. What was his name? I texted him three times today. Oh, it's your fault. Okay. I, no, that's not it. Oh, he's laughing at me now. I ain't believing this. Well, it was a nice Shame time. on you. We you had talked a good to him longer, too. It was awesome. But I remember Donna. They bought an Incredible Box. I can't believe that was this morning. That's how long our you days You put a go. video out earlier today already. Oh, my God. That is right. Okay. Yeah, he come and got it in that dually dog. Yeah, so Allie, Allie and them were yesterday, and he picked up. Oh, and I want to say something else really quick. Uh, don't let me forget, but I'll forget. Okay. But he bought an him and his wife bought an Incredible Box, and it went to Burnsville, uh, North Carolina, yep. this morning. Right? Mm -hmm. They bought two Incredible Boxes. So his wife Donna is going to come back with him. So we're going to get it all set up, and we're going to interview both of them whenever they come back. He was fantastic this morning. Oh my God, I'm going. I to, loved I'm him. I'm going to stay with him. He said I could stay in the Incredible Box and hang he out. He said we. He said we. I said, we. He, he, when you were when you were not there, he said, Randy, you can come over and stay and kind of go hiking and oh, go fishing. Well, you know stuff. what? Let's see what Donna says when she comes back. Well, they got okay. two, okay? They okay. have two. Good. You take one, I'll, I'll take, take one. one. I'll take one. Look, suits me. Um, okay, here's what I wanted to remind you. 20 years. Um, anyway, uh, Karen came and picked up her Incredible Box before blah, 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 Riggy. Yeah. <laughs> Because we don't, we can't remember his name. Yeah, but she came. We didn't even know she came. But, oh man, I don't have my phone. I screenshotted what she said. Oh, can you remember? Uh, she was so happy. Rodriguez helped her at 7.30 a.m. Rodriguez wasn't even on the clock yet. Somebody else helped her. Another gentleman come by and helped her. She was so happy to get her in credit box because Karen had had uh, back in 2017 had a down had paid twenty thousand dollars down on another uh, with another company uh, a tiny house company and they went under and she lost her money oh yeah so this she got her home this morning she was so excited she drove how many hours was it Karen was it six hours hardly any sleep wow we, we were trying to catch <clears throat> That's her cool when we were all, we were in here going, and we found out she'd already left, or we would have run up there and we would have oh, met yeah. her. Yeah, we were wanting to meet her. We today. were wanting to meet her. We want to meet the people that are coming they in. They said she them. was already done and gone. It's like boom, she's gone. But she had to drive back. But she was sleepy and everything. But th she was just so excited to get here, get her home, and get back. So Karen, we're sorry that we missed you, but we are so glad that you have your tiny house, your incredible box now. And I cannot remember what number she was. Think about that. That's just. You think about all the credit boxes mm -hmm. we're going to be building. Yeah. And they're just flying off the shelf. I know. Mm -hmm. People are not having to wait a year for a house. No, they're not. And, and we have people wait, been waiting a year. Yes. And that's why I'm so adamant about getting these this, built that's, and done. And when they're done, this isn't going to happen anymore. We are, no. once this gets, we are, this not, we, I'm going to tell you something. I know you can't promise it, but our turnaround, we are going to be the quickest turnaround, turnaround of tiny homes you'll ever see. Yep. It'll be the quickest turnaround we are on, in tiny homes. Like at the Amish, we get yes. 10 builders. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get more up there, but it'll take some time. They're yeah. not fast movers. Mm -hmm. Once we get it, I'd like to get 15 yep. or 20 mm -hmm. that we can do models up there. You hide and watch, but if we have a good tur uh, a quick turnaround, yeah. it's over. The Game credit over. boxes are our, fa our movers. Yes. You know, their models are homes. They take they yeah. take some time. So mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna try to we're probably gonna end up putting about six more crews mm -hmm. building our model homes here to get them built too. Yeah. Awesome. Ah. Well, another one. Something else you were gonna say. You said don't let me forget. Oh, it was Karen. Oh, was it Karen? Yeah, it was Karen. Okay. Um, was it something else? Well, Griggs. Well, was Rig it Griggs? Riggy. Get, Riggy. Get Riggy with it. Da, okay. da, 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 Riggy da, 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 sent me a text. He's already got his house set up and everything. It was beautiful. Did he? Awesome. I was going to see if 
if somebody had contacted him. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, well, but we can't remember his first name. Oh, anyway, I, I know. Well, I was going to share this that he said earlier. You know how people will call, uh, you know, like a lot of couples that watch TV together and stuff, mostly, I guess, married couples or whatever. You can't Netflix or Hulu cheat. You know what that means? That means that if you're watching Yellowstone together as a couple, you can't go watch the last season of Yellowstone without your partner. Because if you do, you're in trouble, okay? So he said that she got on him. Ba 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 ba. You know, he started watching our show without her. <laughs> she got on his tail, right? Yeah. Okay, so she's on him. Then he walked in last night or the night before last, yeah. he went, hey! And she had done started the show without him. So, they both got in trouble. <laughs> yeah. You had to rewind it. Because there's game. nothing more special that if you're watching a show and it's a good show, you love watching it with someone because you get to look at it and you go, oh, can you believe can that? Can you believe that just happened? Oh my God, look at her hair. Oh my it's God. In her face. Oh, she looks bad, don't she? <laughs> look at him. He's got, ugh. Oh, he's hot. <laughs> he's, he's wet. <laughs> Anyway, so anyway, so we appreciate that. That was a lot of fun uh, yeah. to hear, and uh, we're we're glad everybody enjoys the show. And we just, you know, oh my God, I mean, you said her too kind. She went just nibbling. She, she went oh, out. Milani. Ah. So he's gonna flick at me. It's like, remember Trump? Milani's yeah, Trump. She just flick him, she flick him. Just yeah, like uh, he tried to grab her hand. He <laughs> flick him. Flick. Ah. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching today. Q and A episode. 14, I believe. Okay. I can't believe there's been 14, but we look forward to next week, and we've got some ideas of some other mm -hmm. locations, being yep. on location, and so we'll be looking forward to that. Don't miss tomorrow's show. Very Don't big show. Don't miss tomorrow's it's show. It's a okay? big show. Do yeah. not miss it. You're going to love it. we got an opportunity for guys. You guys are not going to believe what we I do. will do my best to give you a heads up of when it's going to come on. Okay, yeah. so we'll video it, and I'll tell you about what time that I schedule it. We have tried to do today's show since... Yes. Eight thirty this morning. Since way it early. is now probably seven p.m. I don't know what time it is. It's six oh nine. I'm afraid I've left my phone it, somewhere. It ain't, is it? It's got to be later than six. Is this seven o'clock? Well, that thing there says six. That's a what is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's a uh, an inter. We got an intercom system now. John and Alyssa. Anybody in the office? Hello. Isn't that cool? <laughs> hello. Remember that song you used to go? Hello. <clears throat> hello. <laughs> e hello. How are you? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank yellow. you. Yellow. Yellow. Randy told you me. You never knew it. Electric was. Light or <clears throat> I never knew them until he said, I knew that one song, uh, the most popular, what is that? What's the most popular song? You told me about it. Oh, yeah. God. ELO. Oh, um, oh, God, I got it. Um, ha mm. Put it in the comments. They're, they have the most popular song. That's the only one that I knew until he told me about ELO. Yeah, and I think it was in 1971. My brother was six years older than me, so yeah. in 71, he was 17. Electric Light Orchestra. orchestra. I was like 11. I was 11. Oh, my God, I just heard. Uh, and I, just, I got to hear some of that, and so it was cool. A lot of people don't know ELO. I just listened to the, that popular song. I just heard it. Hello. There's you? another one. Anyway, yeah. you know what? Well, we love comments. music, and we do. I miss not having music to be in the background or to introduce our show uh, and part of it. You go on TikTok, Instagram, everybody's got all this music, and it makes their videos so much more entertaining. I know. And we can't have it on here, you know. We can't but, have it on YouTube, no. But they'll God. ping us. We music can't do is it. Everywhere in our life, everywhere from every genre too. You know, my yeah. son. In California, well, he's in Colorado now. Mm, he that sends is me right. all kinds of, um, he sends Videos. all kinds of music, yeah, on um, Spotify. Spotify, yeah. yeah, we watch, we listen. He to said, Spotify. "Dad, you gotta broaden your horizons on this music." My you know? gosh! So I said, oh, sing a little bit of the one that he sent you the other, or that you sent me. What was it? And you sent it to Wayne. Oh, it was called. They're it's called, gonna be dun dun. It's it, they're it's called be, um yeah. Nappy Roots. Nappy Roots. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Every look up Nappy Roots yeah. on Spotify, and it's called It's Gonna Be a Good Day. It's Gonna Be a Good gonna Day. Gonna Be a Good Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it exactly. It's really good. Yeah. It's cool a, song. Yeah. No, uh, nobody's, gonna, nobody's gonna cry. Nobody's gonna die. It's really gonna be a good day. That's right. Yeah. Aww. It was super cool. Really cool. I wanted to play with the, guy, play with the guys. This is a hard crowd to This is a to. tough crowd. Let Man, me tell you. When they, a tough they crowd. walk in, they're like, uh, and everybody's got their biscuit. They don't want to hear it. 
Uh, They're all in a bad mood. Oh, bad mood. They just want to work. <laughs> Let's just get going. Just zone out. Where's the tow motor? Where's the this? Well, you got your tools yeah. on. I'm going to play go. some music for them. I'm going to get them dancing here for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm well, done. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go get some dry clothes. Oh, yeah. He sat here wet. and I'm burning up. Ugh. Okay. Soaked. Bye. All right. You, you are soaked. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it.